Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have some new products from MAC to look at some complexion products. Cue the confetti and the air horns. If you are new to this channel, whenever we do a complexion product, we actually started this last year because there's been so many foundations and concealers. Whenever we do one, we have a little bit of fanfare that goes along with it, and this is no exception. These are actually, for some of you, going to be instant favorites because they are from the MAC Studio Fix line, the famous MAC Studio Fix. Pretty much one of the most famous products ever made by MAC is their Studio Fix, and these are additions to that line. Today we have the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen and the Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powder. Yes, I had to look down and read that. My goodness, it is a mouthful. Uh, the Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen comes in 33 shades and is $35. I got the shade NC17, just like that movie rating, except it's not that exciting. Uh, this is a concealer pen, really. Medium to full coverage, it is that. But not just is it a concealer pen as such. I'll show you how it works in a minute. But it's got a buildable matte finish and can be used to conceal little areas or it can be used in a wider kind of concealer, letting your skin show in other areas. Basically, you could end up using it as a foundation. They just kind of call it an all-over face pan. It is waterproof, transfer-proof, and get this, 36 hours of wear. We are going to try to do about an eight-hour wear test today. I don't think I'm going to get to 36. And you know, it's funny because I have so many people, especially in the healthcare industry, who have 24-hour shifts. Shifts. I have never had anyone say that they have a 36-hour shift, but that's, this does say that you can do that. Um, there's a bottom here that you click and they say half a click gives you enough for concealer and a full click gives you enough to kind of spread over the rest of the face. Essentially as a foundation, it never says it's a foundation, but you know, it, it kind of is a multi-purpose face stick. So it, it could be used as that. Um, what's kind of cool about the packaging is you do have a little window so you can see the product as it goes down. Uh, stay please for the demo as there is some, I'll just warn you here, not, not to ruin anything, but there is uh, some oxidation and we do have to talk about that in the demo, so stay for that um, if you're thinking of purchasing this. Um, in terms of the half a click, full click, let me just show you how this works. So when you take this off, you have a pen, it almost looks like a some sort of a needle. It comes with, I'm just gonna show you, this little um, black stopper, almost like a Starbucks would give you on a coffee. I'm saving it to put in there. I don't know if you're supposed to save it, but um, basically half a click of this pen gives you enough for a concealer, they say, and a all the depressing it all the way down would give you enough for I don't know to cover various other parts of your face frankly and you'll see it in the demo when you press it it just kind of squirts out a lot of product the reason I'm making a bit of a face is it's really cute but I think that the uh, dispenser is a little bit gimmicky um, it, this is a nice product though this isn't going to be a review that lambasts the product I'm just saying in general one of one of the drawbacks is that's a little bit of a gimmick half a click a click it doesn't really work that way. But it's really interesting. And the fact that they're promising transfer-proof, waterproof, 36-hour wear is because it's a bit of um, following the lines of so many of the serum foundations I've reviewed, um, but it's kind of a serum concealer foundation. Um, this is meant to sink into the skin. The nice thing about it, of course, is when you're putting other makeup over, it's not going to budge or go anywhere. Um, you could put on any sort of cream products over it, and it's never going to lift up the product underneath. Let me assure you of that. And it is paired with, of course, sold separately, but paired with the brand new MAC, also Studio Fix, MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powder. This comes in five shades and is $36. I bought it in shade medium. This is a loose powder that sets for all day wear and absorbs oil. I have a very normal complexion, not a lot of oil, but I do like to set under my eyes um, and around my nose where I have very bad allergies. Uh, I think it's a lovely product. Let me just show you how this works. It has that screen that some of you like and some of you don't like. You know the screen for loose powder? It can be a bit messy. Comes with this pr pretty little black um, velveteen puff. I like to use my own uh, brush, but that is a pretty little puff. And then it has a plastic cover, which is nice. It keeps it from leaking. And then you, it's kind of a rubbery plastic cover. And then you pull that up, as you could hear, and then it exposes that kind of messy screen 
which we've all dealt with. You know, you press down on it and it gives you product, but at least they do have this cover over it. And you can't say that Mac isn't seasoned in how to present these things. And that doesn't really bother me, but I know some of you don't like that screen. I like the House Labs powder. It has the same type of screen and a lot of you message me and says, isn't it messy? A little bit. I think loose powder can't help but be, but it's a very nice powder. There's no scent to either of these. No weird ingredients like alcohol or anything like that that could or, or a coconut that would set anybody's allergies or migraines off. So that's really good news. Thank you, Mac. But they do know what they're doing. Um, Mac has put in all the research, all the money, all the makeup artists, all the. You know, they, they really do have their act together. As I always say about MAC, when they're good, they are very good. And I do think this is a very good product. But I want to show you how it works, some of the drawbacks, et cetera, et cetera. And I also want to give it a nice long wear test. Right now, you are seeing me with it freshly applied. We're going to go to the demo now. And then at the very end of the video, you will see me having worn it hopefully about eight hours. But we'll see how the day goes. So stay right there. Okay, so we are trying this for the first time together. And it is essentially a concealer. So welcome back the star of the show whenever I do concealers, the dark pits of despair that reside in the inner corner of my eye. I am lucky enough to have a full matching set of dark pits of despair. <laughs> okay, I think the color I got here is a little bit too light. In fact, I know it is. You can kind of see it up there in the... Um, but let's see. Uh, we're going to try to kind of spot conceal and then do a little bit. It's not really a foundation, right? But, you know, we're going to see what we can do. Um, okay, so one half a click for concealer, full click for the whole. That's a gimmick, right? Let's just, yeah, I just squirted it onto my hand. I don't even know how you would actually measure half a click. So let's call uh, BS on that right away. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. So now I just kind of have a, basically a really fluid, um, concealer on my uh, hand. What do I have on my face, by the way, you might wonder? Just some moisturizer and skincare from about an hour ago when I put this on. Okay, because we're going to be doing a wear test today. All right, so using this kind of as a concealer now, I honestly don't know how you do half a pump. I, I mean, I guess most people are more careful than I am, but okay, that is a very light color. If that goes over my whole face, I look like the, I look like a bandit, a bandit right now, don't I? Got half a mask on there. Okay, but let's just see. I mean, you know, okay, the, the, the shade would be better if it were the right shade, but let's just see. Let's just kind of cover some areas. Uh, maybe I could just use it as a concealer. Um, and again, I'm kind of using it now with this. I'm just doing this side of the face. With this Sonia G Fusion brush, I'm just kind of... <laughs> it's leaving marks. It's definitely the wrong shade. Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of using it just to kind of spot conceal and do maybe half the face. Let's see if it oxidizes or anything. I am just finding out, honestly, that these concealer and uh, foundation shades, they're so much better when you get them right. But if you get them wrong and put makeup over them, you will honestly not really know the difference. I Seriously, you won't. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing half my face here, and it is not so much oxidizing, but settling in. Way too bright of a shade on this side of my face. Nothing but skincare on this side. Um, and this side of my face really is kind of ruddy and red, and this side that's taken that away. And it's a little bit too bright, but it's already kind of settling in, isn't it? When I first put it on, it was quite shocking looking, and it's looking a little bit better now. So what I have done, as you see, is I've kind of um, spot, treat, conceal. I have nothing else on, no makeup or anything that I can move around. And I've kind of just spot, treat, concealed, um, but I have so much of it on, it's almost acting a little bit like a foundation as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, mute and fast forward this and let's do the other side of my face. First, again, let me see if I can actually achieve the half, I guess. Basically, this just pours out of this little thing right there. That's This is a gimmick. All right, let's do the other half of the face. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, yes, we definitely have oxidation. Let me just zoom you in. I want you to see the wet portion is what the new product I put on it, and the darker portion is the product that was beneath it. I hope this is showing. Um, so it is, and that is why this side of the face is starting to look a little bit more normal, and this side already looks so bright. It is definitely getting a shade or two darker. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, so there we go. And the reason again that it is not so shockingly bright, it is still, it is still too bright. I'm not gonna lie there, but it is going on my hand about two shades darker. As you see now, this old sample on my hand is kind of matching my hand now. Um, and when I put it on, it's, you know, so it does oxidize. So choose your shade accordingly. Although I admit the shade is still a bit too light, but watch when I get makeup over the top, you won't notice, you just won't. All right, let's check out the Dark Caverns of Despair. Still could use some color corrector, huh? Why didn't I use color corrector? Because I'm just trying to use this totally unadulterated. As I said, see, it's going about two shades darker. You're getting used to it, aren't you? Okay, let's try the powder, okay? So here we have this interesting pro set and blur. Now, um, as I mentioned, it has a little black sponge in it, but I did bring um, a little powder brush over this, again, a Sonia G. And I'm gonna lift this up. No way to make this unmessy. And let's first of all just do underneath the eyes because we are doing a wear test. And so for that, I will do over the top of the eyes and underneath. I'm just taking what's on the cap here. Um, when I do under the eyes, I really don't want anything too, too heavy or obvious. And I will powder around the nose. Generally, this is where I stop. But what the heck, since I'm apparently stuck with this shade for 36 hours, I'll wash it off before then but it does say 36 hours. Um, I will go ahead and use a fluffy number 22 refer brush, having their sale right now, to put some all over the entire face. Let's really do a proper wear test of the two products used together. Um, I bet you're wondering what this looks like compared to my neck. If you're smart, I'm sure you're wondering that. So let's take a little look. See, it's oxidizing, guys, it really is. It's oxidizing, interesting, and it's oxidizing like two shades. The question is, and I will let this go all day today, there are some shades that oxidize so badly that by the end of the day, you walk by a mirror and go, ah, you know, it looks like you fell asleep in a tanning booth or something. So let's just, if it stays here, then you know, that's fine. It just saved me from buying the wrong shade. If it continues, we might be, we might be in trouble. So let's see if I look like um, I spent way too much time in Miami in a few hours. Um, but right now I'm going to go finish up my makeup. And at the beginning, you will see me with it freshly applied. And then coming just now, it's going to be it all finished up after quite a few hours. Stay right there. Okay, let's talk about it. It has been seven hours. Let's take a look. Told you with makeup on, although you did see it in the intro, but I told you with makeup on, it's not gonna look like the wrong shade. I am amazed lately how many shades you can get away with for complexion products. The right one is always best, but you know, there's preferred and there's perfect, right? And, and this does work, but only because it oxidized probably two full shades and warmed up. So it started very light and kind of cooler and then went warmer. Um, but I think it actually works. This is a very, very matte. It really does look skin-like, but in a matte way. And I, I think it would benefit from having a dewy primer underneath. I never do that for the uh, first wear test because I don't want uh, the primer to interfere with the product and me not know what caused it logical, right? But I will start playing around with it. For instance, on other foundations like this, and this one is much more hardcore, saying 36 hours, and here I've given it seven. Um, but and some of the others, like the Guerlain, the Burberry, and the Serum foundations, I've had tremendous luck putting, for instance, either the Auric underneath it, the uh, Glow Lust, or the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, um, and those have looked beautiful under it, giving it a little bit of slip and a little bit of movement. This is indeed very, very flat. Now again, it is meant to be more of a concealer and spot concealer, but I put it in so many places and spread it, I'm pretty much wearing it like a foundation, which is not, it's not against the principle of the product, it's not against, but you know, it, it is supposed to be also for concealing. If you want a really matte concealer, that would work. In terms of a foundation, though again, 
please. This is not meant to be a foundation. It's a kind of all over face pen. Um, so take that to mean what you will. Um, but if we were to use it as a foundation, I can see that it's very similar to the Gucci or the KVD, meaning very, very matte. But sometimes that's really nice because there's a lot that you can do with it. You can add in highlighter, which I have not done, um, but you could do. You can put any blush over it. And it was kind of nice because I used a MAC cream blush. And what was really fun about that is I could just put it on and just do 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 and I'm not going to move the base or the complexion product underneath because that is on there. That is my skin. That's why it really reminds me of the Gucci. Totally transfer proof. And I do believe them when they say 36 hours. I know I've only worn it for seven, but I can tell you it's, it's not going anywhere. I don't have to fix it here. I don't have any pores showing here. Um, I don't have any pores showing anywhere. I do, once it goes on, the way you put it on is the way it's going to stay. If I made a stripe here of it, it would not dissipate. It would just stay like that. Um, so just be careful on your shade choice because it's going to oxidize pretty much a two full shades darker. Um, but pick the right shade and just know that it's going to go on light and then achieve the shade that you want it to. In other words, don't purposefully order two shades lighter. Just know when you put on your shade, it, it's going to be shockingly light and then progress is what I meant. Okay, I didn't mean to be misleading. Um, it is a very, very pretty product. I'm looking in the viewfinder here. I like it. I like the way it's worn. I think my skin looks good. If I had an oily complexion, I sure like it. I think the powder is holding up just lovely. Um, anything under my eyes has not moved. Sometimes I have trouble with it wearing away right here, not having trouble with that at all, not seeing any pores, not feeling it move. It's very comfortable. My face does not feel tight. It does not feel crusty and it's not feel like it's building up or pixelating on the skin. I'm going to give it a very, very good report. Um, I think the actual pen mechanism, though I like this so you can see how much product you've got left. Um, this kind of push it down halfway, push it down, and it just squirts out product basically onto your, onto your hand or palette. Um, and I'm sure that there'll be crazed people on TikTok and stuff that can just go and squirt it all over their face. I don't think that's very ladylike, <laughs> but um, you know, it, that is a bit of a um, gimmick. Frankly, it's kind of a gimmick, but you know, I think it could have been in a, a, any other sort of dispenser, but uh, it does work and it's certainly a pretty product on the skin. And it's not like Mac doesn't know what they're doing. They certainly do. So, you know, let me know if you've tried this and, and how you've worn it when you tried it all over face pen. So, you know, concealer, foundation, a little bit of both, kind of a hybrid of the two, uh, but it's nice for travel, you know, because once you get the cap on this guy, he's not really going to go anywhere. I'm looking for the cap. What did I do with it? Um, it's not really going to go anywhere. And then, you know, you can travel with it pretty easily and dispense it pretty easily. And my goodness, if you're just taking a two-day trip, you can just put it on one what? <laughs> Leave it on? You have 36 hours of color? I don't know. All right, let me know what you think. I think it's actually beautiful. I'm, I'm admiring the powder as well. I think it's definitely a win for MAC. But I would like to know your opinion. This was out in Europe, I think, a lot earlier than here. So some of you have had some experience already with it. Please let us know your comments and thoughts as that's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello and give me a follow over on TikTok and Instagram too. And you can become a bigger part of this community either by becoming a member or by giving super thanks. But in any way that you choose to be here, I'm just really happy to see you. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.